Hello friends, welcome to the Mine Instruments Private Limited. Today we are going to perform experiment of unknown impedance measurement using microwave test bench. And also draw the Smith chart with the help of microwave test bench. So let's start the video. This is our microwave test bench setup. In the setup you can see gun power supply. In this supply the DC voltage is variable from 0 to 10 volts. And the frequency of square wave can be continuously varied from 800 to 1200 Hz. You also vary the frequency, amplitude and voltage with knobs. And the front panel meter can read the gun voltage and the current drawn by the gun diode. Also you can see the audio input port, pin output port and gun output port. This is a mode button, and press the button then you can see different types of modes. First is continuous wave, second is internal modulation, third is PC data, and fourth is audio input signal. We can do the experiment on the internal mode. First component of the test bench is a gun oscillator. Gun oscillator has been designed as a stable and spectrally pure microwave source. The oscillator has a gun diode mounted in a waveguide cavity, which is tunable over the range 8.5 to 11.5 GHz by a micrometer control tuning plunger. Set the fan in front of gun diode for cooling purpose. Then gun output of the gun power supply is connect to the gun diode through BNC to BNC cable. Second component of the test bench is isolator, isolator is connect after the gun oscillator. Function of isolator is to pass all microwave signal in the one direction only. Third component is pin modulator, it's connect after the isolator. It's connect to the pin output of gun power supply, with TNC to TNC cable is a transmission line. Fourth component of the test bench is variable attenuator, this is connect after pin modulator. This is used to attenuate power of microwave signal. Initially variable attenuator is set for no attenuation, it means micrometer of variable attenuator is completely open. Fifth component of the test bench is DRF meter, DRF meter is connect after the variable attenuator. Direct read frequency meter is used for measuring frequency of microwave. Sixth component of the test bench is slotted line section with tunable probe, it's a connect after the DRF meter. Set the slotted section knob at the right position. And adjust tunable probe for get maximum power. Tunable probe is connect to the DSO through BNC to BNC cable. Seventh component of the test bench is a match termination. Eighth component of the test bench is a movable shot, movable shot is a load. And it's a DSO for output. Switch on the DSO. Set the time division. And also set the voltage division. Then switch on the gun power supply. Set the internal mode with mode button. Rotate modulation frequency no clockwise, set in middle position. And also rotate modulation amplitude no clockwise, set in middle position. Rotate gun output no clockwise, set in 9 volt and below 10 volt, for safety purpose. Because of the gun diode gets damaged when the power is more than 10 volt. First, check the position of the fan. Whether the fan is set in front of the gun diode or not. Because gun diode is heat up during the operation. And also set variable attenuator at no attenuation. Then set the DRF meter at initial position. Set micrometer of gun oscillator for maximum output. Set gun voltage at 9 volt. Then you get square wave. See in DSO. 
rotate the DRF meter for clockwise direction for getting deep. See the DSO for deep. When you get deep you can see the DRF meter, then you note down the frequency of the DRF meter. Rotate the DRF meter, anti-clockwise direction for detuning and set initial position. Rotate the knob of slotted line section on left side. For getting minimum output. It's called a first minima. Note down the reading of the scale. After getting first minima as the one move slotted line section. Then again rotate the knob of slotted line section on left side, for getting second minimum output. It's called in second consecutive minima. Note down the reading of the scale. Change the component of the bench. Disconnect the matched termination. And connect the movable shot as a load. Matched termination are designed in such a way to absorb the maximum energy without having appreciable reflection assuring low VSWR. That is, movable shot, we are use movable shot as a load. Movable shots are used to obtain a phase reference in the calibration of various experimental setups. Application of movable shot is to measure the impedance. Shift the slotted line section knob to the fully right side. Finding VSWR. Move the slotted line section, to the left side for finding Vmax and note down the value of DSO. Note down the Vmax value C in DSO. After that move the slotted line section, left side continuously. and get a Vmin value. Note down the value of DSO. Also note down the reading of the vernier scale. Please see the calculation. Draw the Smith chart with the help of values. First tick mark the VSWR on chart, and draw the circle. Second is tick mark the delta L by lambda G point. Thanks for watching this video.
for latest update do like share subscribe and click on the bell icon